Russia is using its words and its actions to send a warning to the U.S. tonight. Moscow has sent a warship to Cuba and says the U.S. weapons buildup in Europe could spark a repeat of one of the most dangerous conflicts of the Cold War. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin has the story tonight from the Pentagon. The new state-of-the-art Russian warship received a warm welcome after pulling into Havana Harbor, just 90 miles from Florida, occupying a berth which until a recent travel ban was filled by American tourist cruise ships. This is a, uh, a clear show of force by, uh, by Russia. Russia's deputy foreign minister warned of a new Cuban missile crisis if the U.S. chooses to deploy missiles back to Europe after the Trump administration said it plans to pull out of a landmark nuclear arms treaty. Quote, we could find ourselves in a situation where we have a rocket crisis close not just to the crisis of the 1980s, but close to the Caribbean crisis. The Russians are, are basically launching a big propaganda campaign at this, at this time, claiming that uh, the United States is acting in a provocative fashion, which is simply not true. The arrival in Havana not as menacing as this encounter weeks ago in the Western Pacific when a Russian destroyer harassed the USS Chancellorsville, nearly colliding, forcing the American warship to alter course. Earlier this month, Moscow says one of its fighter jets intercepted a U.S. B-52 bomber in the Black Sea, one of many increasingly aggressive encounters between the two Cold War foes. Back in Havana, the arrival of the Admiral Gorshkov, a new class of Russian frigate armed with cruise missiles, signals Russia's intention to project power. Russia's show and tell comes in the wake of a 10,000 NATO troop month-long war game exercise on Russia's doorstep in the Baltic Sea involving 50 Allied warships. And as the Pentagon announced plans to add new low-yield nuclear weapons to ballistic missile submarines, a response to Russia's threat to use limited nuclear weapons on the battlefield. President Trump's new acting defense secretary, Mark Esper, flew to NATO headquarters today, his second day on the job, for meetings about Russia and to build an alliance.